Speaking at the launch, Minister of International Relations and Cooperation and Chairperson of the AU SADC National Committee, Nandine Deitwa, emphasized the committee's commitment towards ensuring peace, security and political stability. In addition, Nandine Deitwa says gender balance as well as women and youth empowerment are focal areas as these are vital drivers for socio-economic progression. Sadek Ndeidwa says has over the past four decades recorded important milestones in different areas of regional cooperation and integration in the areas such as infrastructure development, trade and investment, food, agriculture and natural resources. All this has made it possible through continental and inter-regional cooperation and integration. The participation of our citizens in decision-making, particularly women and youth, brings the regional process closer to the people. While citing numerous achievements, Ndeidwa says there is a long way to go to attain the SADC Vision 2050 adopted by the body's 40th virtual summit last August. Nandi Ndeitwa made specific reference to the National Development Plan 5 in which some shortcomings were identified in, among others, manufacturing, technology, skills, water and energy insecurity and inadequate infrastructure. Identifying our challenges at the national level will enable us to find solutions, both at the national, sub-regional, and continental levels, Namibia, SADAC, and Africa. All our people must have access to clean water, adequate food, good health and educational services, and better housing. The launch of the AU SADC National Committee comes at a time when the world is confronted with an unparalleled public health crisis of COVID-19, says the minister. Emil Sebeb, NBC News, Ventuk.